uh, wanted to fill everybody in on some of the things going on this week. Uh, first thing is, um, I want to tell everybody how much I appreciate y'all's good wishes for my trip yesterday. Uh, I went up to my buddy Gail's house and uh, took a little tour of her farm real quick and then we went up uh, and did a private farm tour on Ayrshire Farms. We had gone specifically, of course, to see the Highlands. Uh, the Highlands and the White Parks. They've got a huge herd of uh, White Parks as well. Um, and that's mostly what we saw. Uh, apparently what they do is they try and time it so that the White Parks give birth in the spring and the Highlands give birth in the fall because uh, it's easier on you know the respective calves uh you know because the highlands are more cold tolerant cold natured um you know so that's the reason um but we saw a lot of white park babies uh, a lot of white park highland cross mixes um they were all adorable uh i can't thank crystal enough uh crystal is the general manager up at Ayrshire Farms. Um, you know, she took us on a, a couple hour private tour uh, yesterday. Um, then me and my buddy that went up with us um, and Gail and, you know, the rest of our happy little crew uh, went out to eat at one of the restaurants that Ayrshire Farms owns uh, called the Hunter's Head. It's a nice, you know, 18th century uh, tavern type setting. Uh, it's really, really cool place, good food. And <laughs> it's one of the few places that I've found since I went to Scotland that has sticky toffee pudding as a dessert. Um, now granted, it, it wasn't quite the sticky toffee pudding I had in England and Scotland uh, but, it, it, you know, it was a passable second. Uh, but we had a great meal. Um, then we went back to Gail's farm and spent time uh, playing with her highlands. Um, you know, she's got more than just highlands. She's got Angus. She's got, you know, all sorts of critters over there. Um, <laughs> the ones you're going to fall in love with, I know. Uh, same one I did. This adorable, adorable uh, little heifer calf. Um, Claire. Uh, I kept telling Gail I was going to stick her in the backseat of my SUV and brought, bring her home. But she would have noticed. Uh, but I wanted to tell Gail and Crystal and every, and and Philip, her husband, uh, Gail's husband, Philip. Um, tell them how much I appreciate it. Um, tell them how much we had a, you know, how much of a great time we had. Um, I love playing with those calves. Uh, <laughs> And I wanted y'all to know I broke all my own rules uh, as far as calves go. Um, you know, I'm always getting on people about uh, how you treat bottle babies uh, and calves that really don't have a herd. Uh, you know, there's a lot of do's and don'ts with calves that, that you know, you shouldn't do um, because it just teaches them bad manners. Um, and I broke every one of them yesterday. <laughs> you know, and, and God bless her heart, Gail tried to remind me. And, uh, you know, it, it's kind of like me asking people not to touch Hamish's head, you know, when they come over to visit. You know, well, I saw that little Highland calf and, and you know, there was no talking to me after that. What's that play? Uh, so, I apologize for breaking all the common sense rules that 
I know better than most people. <laughs> you know, a responsible owner is, is going to kind of roll their eyes and say, you know, knowing that, you know, I've just made their job harder. Um, and it would be the same with Gail or, or me or anybody else out there that owns a, owns a highland that, you know, the general public, you know, want to hang on to and pet, brush, whatever, you know, and, you know, so, uh, bear that in mind, um, when you do visit a highland, you know, don't, don't, don't do like Mark, you know, 